we have had an accident this morning and here's what's happened uh, you'll notice I'm not using my big camera here to do the initial video videoing I like to try to do everything in 4k and only this one does 4k the one that's on right now is uh, just your basic HD camera which isn't bad uh, however here's what's happened in in my uh, what I call the computer room where I do my editing and everything is my homemade chair that uh, we used to affectionately call the Sherman tank of chairs and uh, this this cord is plugged into the computer and the other end I usually have it hanging on a uh, on a nail or something just just to get it all, up off the floor well I, I didn't notice that this end had gone down onto the floor and my Sherman tank of chairs uh, well it's got big heavy-duty casters on it and as I rolled the chair forward to pull myself up I accidentally ran over this uh, plug here and I've, and I've bent it it's very clearly bent it's not just bent a little bit that it won't work I mean it's it's you might say bent out of shape so my plan is to try and see if I can't straighten this out now it doesn't mean that I can't use this camera so let me move up a little bit here and try not to run over everything now now this this camera has a couple of cards in it. It's got your basic SD card, which everybody's familiar with, and then it's got one that's a little bit more heavy duty. It's supposed to be a little bit faster, and and it's uh, it looks like this. Okay. Anyway, I, right now I've got the camera set to do the recording onto the onto the bigger card, the better card. So what I want to try to do now, and shouldn't be a big problem, is uh, set the camera so that it dumps the files into the SD card. Now I know I know that I can quite easily, you know, get files out of an SD card into my computer, but I have never tried on this card. So I don't want to start videoing with this camera today, only to find out I can't get the files out of it. So I don't know how today's episode is going to go, folks. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to try and straighten this out and hope it'll work. I have to be, well, first let's just see if we can switch the cards around. And then and then we can start using this camera and I can, I can stick the uh, macro lens on and we can, uh, I can show you what I did here. Yeah, like I say, I don't know how it's going to go. I, this morning I was planning to uh, start painting this thing. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, now destination, we'll change the destination. Okay, they call it an XQD card. So we're going to go down and we're going to go to the SD slot. Press OK. Destination is now SD. So if I do any videoing now, I know that it's going to end up on the SD card. Now I realize that if I want to spend the money, I can get a genuine Nikon cable from a reputable camera outfit. Or if I want to, you know, save a few bucks, quite a few bucks, I can get a cheap knockoff from Amazon Canada. It'll probably work. Yeah, free delivery to the door. Now, when I was a young teenager, and we were living in Omaha, Nebraska, there was, uh, and television was sort of in its infancy, there was a television program, and it was called The Life of Riley. And it was uh, William Bendix uh, starred in it. And uh, 
He had a, a saying that he would often use, and it really fits right now. What a revolting development this is. Yeah, what a revolting development this is. I'll put the macro lens on. We'll just move in right here. Now, I did not realize how grungy this was in there. I, I know you can't see in there like I could a moment ago, but uh, I could really see that there was a lot of lint and stuff like that. I guess, yeah, I guess when the end of this was down in the carpet, <laughs> that was maybe not a good idea. And it had been happening for about, well, I guess I've been using this particular cord for about four years now. Uh, yeah, so I think what I'm going to try to do here is uh, maybe try and clean this out first before we straighten it. I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. Now I can just hear somebody saying, Ron, that's not a good idea. And you know what? You're probably right. Um, oh, just a few minutes ago I did try the SD card on that last scene, and, and it does work. So uh, uh, in the event that I can't get this to go, well, we're not completely... Uh, screwed. You're getting to see a lot of shots and angles of my uh, hobby bench here that you don't usually get to see. Okay, we're all back to normal and ready for the next time we want to spray. Okay, there's no uh, fluffies or grunge in there now. I don't know which uh, was the most beneficial, the uh, ultrasonic or the compressed air. Probably the probably both. I was using the compressed air because I wanted to, you know, get the moisture out of there. There would have been a lot of moisture got up into the uh, into the plug, and uh, and that's why I used the. Uh, the uh, isopropyl because it would uh, uh, absorb the uh, the water. Now, now what I'm going to want to do here is going it's going to be too hard to show you on camera, but I, I want to be able to squeeze this together a little bit. But if you remember, it was kind of it was kind of bent in a. Uh, 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 sort of a, a V shape almost, just a little bit. So I want to try and straighten out that V. Now I, I can't squeeze this together too much because it's a lot easier to squeeze it together than it is to pull it apart. It doesn't seem to want to be straightening too good here. I think it's a case of I have to sort of bend it past straight and then let it spring back. And uh, and this is going to have to fit nice and easily into my camera, otherwise I'm not going to do it. Because uh, I don't want it to damage the receptacle that's inside the camera. That would be very costly to fix. 
Uh, not that you, you can't, you know, okay, I, I think I've, I've got it so it might, might work here. Okay, if I, if I eyeball along the, the top of it here that you can't see, I can see that I've got it straight, but the, there's a little, it's, it's not perfect yet. I'll, I'll, I'll just try it in the camera. It, it just might work. The, uh, the contacts weren't damaged. Fortunately, the contacts weren't damaged or, or bent out of shape. They are, they are where they are supposed to be. Maybe, maybe just a little bit more here. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to try that, even though it's, it's not perfect. I think it might, it might work. If it does, like I say, if it, if it, if it doesn't go easy, I'm not going to, I'm not going to force it. You know, if I can, if I can get it, if I can get a new one for, you know, just a few bucks, why not? And it's not like we can't, we can't continue on here. It's not like I have to start using my other camera to video this. So that would be sort of a disappointment, at least to me. Okay, let me let me just try this now. Okay, now the last scene that you just saw, I used this cord to transfer the data out of the camera. So I know it works. Well, it worked once. Um, now, it might be a little difficult to see, and. When, when I was saying that it's not perfect, but it's close, this this part here, it I almost should have the macro lens on to show you. Fortunately, the the, the metal pushes together really really easy, and uh, it it does go in. Um, gonna probably block your vision here and it it uh, it goes in about the same amount of difficulty as the cord did when it was new it got it was getting progressively more and more loose all the time so yeah um, I think we're gonna be okay here well I guess uh, time will tell right now let's see if we can actually get to do some painting this afternoon you know, it, it, I don't know if you can see my watch, but it's already 12.34. Okay, I did just shake this up in the uh, paint shaker. Um, okay, now, I can see if I was to accidentally get the paint up on the wall here but I cannot see if I get it up on the inside of the splinter rail unless I unless I really did a blotched up job so um, I, I think what we'll do is we'll start with our little brush and we'll do the the area that's going to be the hardest and I, I would think that most likely the front here will be the most difficult I'd, like I say, I don't want to be getting it on the wall up, up this way. But let's just see how it goes here. I guess I should check the monitor and see if you can actually see what I'm doing. No, not really. Sorry about that. There, that's better. This is, uh, I think I'm going to try and put it on relatively heavy. And that way uh, I don't have to do a second coat because this is kind of hard to do. Okay.
Okay, I am afraid that I'm going to have to take and angle this a little bit differently for myself, uh, which means it's going to be, uh, I won't be able to do the painting on camera. Uh, maybe when we get to some of these bigger areas, but uh, I mean, th there's only one more thing more boring than watching paint dry, and that's watching somebody put it on. It is not quite dry yet. So it might be slightly more blotchy, or maybe glossy places, than it's going to otherwise be. Blotchiness, I don't know, it might be a little bit on the blotchy side. But that's just going to be, have, it's going to have to be my uh, idea of weathering, maybe. Um, well, where's something to point with? I had to be careful not to fill in these, uh, these holes here. Um, because uh, we got to get our tripod in there later. Now, I highly recommend to anybody building this ship, if you're not at this stage yet, for goodness sakes, paint these three decks before you glue it together. And also, uh, I think there's a, a, a gangway or, or a, a ladder that has to go way on the inside there somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in. Uh, I haven't checked the plan for a while. Anyway, um, at 3.30 this afternoon I have to have, I have to do something. And uh, so that means I have to be all uploaded and everything to YouTube and done with this video. So uh, that's it for today folks. And uh, yeah, in tomorrow's video maybe we can uh, paint these other two decks. Thanks for watching everybody and all being well we will see you tomorrow.